What's that? An egg. A square egg? One of the girls must have a square egg maker. Lisa, I'm having trouble enough believing a toaster that works when you say five. <laughs> but a square egg, that's ridiculous. Well, you're the one who wanted to live on a farm. What's that got to do with it? Morning. Hey, somebody's toaster's burning. Five. <laughs> Ain't that a square egg? Oh, yeah. How'd you do it, Mr. Douglas? Oh, no, I didn't do it. No, somebody's playing a joke on us. They planted the egg. I didn't know you could plant eggs. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. I, no, this is a phony. Yeah, there's nothing inside of it, but... Uh... <laughs> no. How'd you do that? You put a round egg in a square shell? <laughs> I didn't do it. It's real. Oh, well, it couldn't be. Why not? One of the chickens must have made a mistake. A mistake? <laughs> I can't explain it. Maybe you can explain this. Explain what? Mmm. Chocolate malted. I know. I just got it out of Eleanor. <laughs> what? Not only that, I got a pail of strawberries from her, one of boysenberry, and one of pistachio. A different flavor from each tap. <laughs> Had you going, didn't I? Oh, very funny. Some practical joke. Uh, why would Eleanor play a practitioner's joke? <laughs> Not Eleanor Ebb. Did you put that square egg out there? No, sir. Ebb, no hen lays a square egg. No, they lay three of them. Oh, that's impossible. <laughs> Don't tell me. Tell whoever did it. <laughs> Do you have any idea which hen laid these eggs? It could be any one of six. Oh, you got a new toaster. No, it's the same old one. It's gone berserk. It's clicking on all numbers. I'm not surprised. The way you yelled at it, it doesn't know what it is. Yes, which hen do you think laid the eggs? I don't know. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to find out. All we got to do is look for a square chicken. <laughs> Mr. Douglas, there you are. Ten dollars? What's that for? Mr. Douglas, you can say what you want about me, but I ain't one to defraud a neighbor. What? Now, if you'll just help me get them chickens on my truck. What chickens? Them inferiors I sold you. Oh, when I think of what they've done, I feel like a pink possum in a dry goods store. A pink? What does that mean? It means I'm giving you back your ten dollars. Now, if you'll just give me a hand in rounding up them hens. Oh, no, no, no thanks. And here's your $10. I can't take it, Mr. Douglas. No, sir. I sold you them chickens in good faith. And if they're laying distorted eggs, that ain't good faith. Oh, you heard about the square egg. Square egg? Oh, Mr. Douglas, I'm doubly sorry. You keep the $10, and I'll give you another five for the grief and shame that they've caused you. <laughs> Any chicken that would sink to lay in a square egg or to be plucked and fricasseed. Now, if you'll just point out the culprit, well, I'll be glad to attend to the sordid details. Uh, you didn't happen to hear that that chicken might be very valuable, did you? Now, who told you that? Perky's turkey? <laughs> Mr. Kimball. No, that's just his opinion. Any square egg laying chicken is worthless, and I'll give you $20 for it. <laughs>